Nice to have you with us.
useful motivator to make changes and pay attention to my sleep habits and my stress management. Look again, if it also can help people go, well, maybe I could do some investigating here and figure out some ways to give myself the best fighting chance, then great. You're still a young man, but was part of the reason you took on this series because you are thinking about legacies, maybe not the right word, but like what you want out of this life? It was a real sort of wake up to um, if I continue in a sprint, you know, the finish line being death, one day I'll be there and I'll go, oh yeah, what, what, what just happened? You know, and I had no idea it was going to teach me that we get one shot at it as far as we know and make the most of it. Hemsworth grew up humble with his parents and two brothers moving between their home in Melbourne and cattle ranches in the Australian outback. So for a young boy in the Northern Territory, what was life like? You didn't own a pair of shoes the, the first sort of year we were there just because it was too hot. Your feet become leather, you're running around on the rocks and stones and you're trying to keep up with all the, the local indigenous kids who are tough as hell and, and they're laughing from, you know, <laughs> stepping on trickles and having a cry. My most vivid memories are of Northern Territory in the outback and most beautiful memories too. A high school film class recommended by his older brother Luke gave Hemsworth a crazy idea. Uh, that's it, going to Hollywood, told my career's advisor at school, and she's like, oh, okay, watch your back up. <laughs> don't have one, don't have one. <laughs> the road to Hollywood began on Australian TV, including a star-making stop on the popular soap opera, Home and Away. Sitting at work, you know, what is it? You try to come between breaks with me. After three years of playing a heart drop, Hemsworth was ready for that flight to Los Angeles. The first sort of three, four months I was there, it was like, no, 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 no. And then I had eight, nine, ten months of nothing. And, you know, I didn't walk into a situation and then be adrenaline and shortness of breath and so on. Instead of thinking, okay, this signals a tragic situation and I'm going to fail, I think, no, this is excitement. This is signaling my ability to think quicker and see clearer. And that really, you know, reprogram things for me and go, no, I deserve to be here. In 2009, Hemsworth got his break when he was cast by director J.J. Abrams as Captain Kirk's father in the Star Trek movie. The film was a box office hit and Hemsworth's performance caught the attention of the team at Marvel on a movie about the God of Thunder. Beating out his younger brother Liam for the role, Hemsworth became Thor. Destroying my life. Another! <laughs> Together, the four Thor movies have made nearly $3 billion and made Hemsworth one of Hollywood's most valuable stars. Did you have a sense when you started Thor just over a decade ago? You know, can imagine it it's a bit his life. I mean, every job you're hoping it's going to be that. And most days I've spent is waiting for the tap of the shoulder and saying, this is not working, kid, get out of here. <laughs> that tap never came. And even the fans inside his own house are asking for more. They're not going to let you go, man. They're too popular. No. <laughs> My dad was said that. I was like, I was like, how much else can be home more? She goes, you don't act anymore. I was like, maybe I'll stay home with you. She goes, My dad kids want to see him play for. I was like, Oh, okay, well, do you, does this kid want to see your dad? Huh? Maybe. <laughs> She's like, eh. She's like, yeah, sometimes. Take care of my crew. This is going to be hard for them. Hurry up! Have you stopped ever to think about the life before and after? It's been wonderful to do something or achieve something that was my dream and continually be in a situation where I'm pitching myself going, ah, oh, remember when it was the other way or really like that. And I hope I can just be in a constant state of, of appreciation for it. Bloodless with Chris Hemsworth is streaming now on Disney Plus. Our big thanks to Felice on Hudson Restaurant in New York for hosting our conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full interview with Chris Hemsworth, including what life after Thor might look like for him. You can find our conversation on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. And next week, a new Sunday sit-down with the talented Marcus Mumford on creating one of the most successful bands in the world, Mumford is and stepping away from the guys temporarily, his deeply personal new solo album. Marcus Mumford, next week on Sunday Today. Let's turn now and get another quick check of your local Sunday weather.
Good morning. I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Ryan Mitchell. Sunshine and really windy conditions headed our way and cold weather. So feels like temperatures today, folks, will be in the teens and 20s, a really frigid November day. We will see temperatures, though, begin to moderate. We're at 48 degrees for sunshine tomorrow, Tuesday in the 50s, and then close to 60 degrees Wednesday and Thursday. Great-looking weather for travel for the Thanksgiving holiday. Next chance we can see some rain, that comes in on Friday. Ahead on Sunday today, our highs and lows of the week, including Lizzo giving one fan the award show dress off her back just because she asked. But up next, our Sunday spotlight on the amazing story of a former covert CIA officer now running a company that makes wildly popular pajamas. We will introduce you to her when we come right back.